Hello guys and welcome to yet another video here on the channel. And today we're going over how to make some default towers into your custom made towers. So what you're gonna do is first off head into the object editor. This is where we're going to make all kind of different stuffs like making custom towers, custom units, and so on. So, we're gonna make a new custom unit, and we're gonna base it on the guard tower in the human race. And we call it, I'll just call it boulder tower, and hit on the OK button. It doesn't really matter what kind of name you use, just use one. The most important thing is that you actually chose the guard tower. So, now you'll see here we have custom unit one, human one, melee one and buildings one. So first we're gonna head into abilities. I don't want my tower to have any abilities but if you want to you can uh, pick one ability from this menu and as you see there's quite a lot. But for the sake of this video I'm going to have none. And the same in this one. Delete, delete. So into the fun stuff here. The art ground texture you'll just leave as it is. That is kind of like when you m make a tower, that's the dirt you see around the tower. That's just how it is. Um, if you head into the uh, icon game interface, this is uh, for an example. If you have a builder that wants to place a tower, this is the icon that shows up. So. For the sake of this video, I think I'm going with the cannon tower. Let's see here. There we go. So this is actually the, the, the picture or icon that pops up in the menu when my builder wants to build the tower. The model, that's actually what kind of model that is going to be used in game. And uh, for the sake of this video, I'm staying with the theme. So cannon tower, where you at? Cannon tower, cannon tower, <laughs> guess cannon tower took a vacation. Well, it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna pick a frost wolf. This is going to be my boulder tower. So, frost wolf it is. If you're going to head down to the uh, the combat stats, this is where you're going to make the damage type and damage overall for this kind of tower. So the acquisition range is going to be 900 for this one. And remember to change this range as well. So now my tower has 900 range overall. Uh, let's see here, I want my tower to have uh, siege damage because it's a cannon tower and it's going to shoot one shot uh, per second and it's going to do 30 base damage these are the multipliers number of dice and size per die you can change it to whatever you like but i'll just have it at one and five so number of targets is one and I th the projectile is kind of like you know when it shoots what kind of uh, stuff comes out of the tower so of course this is going to be a boulder yeah a demolisher it's all right going with the theme and you can choose a second at second attack as well if you want to but uh, i'll just leave it as it is if you head down to the stats you can see here there's kind of different stuff i'll change the build time to two seconds because this is a tower defense and Build time is not really essential for how the game is going to play. Just leave it as, at 2. That is more like the default building times on many tower defense maps. The goal cost I'm going to change to 10 because this is going to be the starter tower. And hit point doesn't really matter. Lumber is, um, is going to 0 because I just want gold as my resource on this map. And the requirements take that off. This way you don't need another building before you can build this one. Upgrades, take those off as well. And hotkey, boulder tower, B for boulder. We are going to build boulder tower. 
and this is kind of like the, the description so this tower throw out boulders to damage enemies that's the description yeah so that's actually it guys now we just need a kind of like a builder to actually build this tower so hit on the new unit again new custom unit and this time we're going to make the peasant our worker. So click on peasant and hit OK. OK. In abilities, you want to have repair and nothing else. This way your builder can actually build the stuff that you're placing. So make sure to have repair here. All right, so we don't want our builder to do any damage so make sure to set these values to zero and that way he won't be able to have an attack yeah that seems good i want my builder to work or run a little bit faster move a little bit faster so change this to 350 and actually i want him to fly so he doesn't collide with the towers and we set the height to 150 yeah that seems good so what we want to do is go down here to the tech tree and in structures build you're just going to delete all of these units you're going to click add unit go to melee here and click on custom now you need to change this boulder tower. So you need to click on this one. This is your custom tower and hit on the OK button and OK. This way, when your builder, when you place your builder and he is going to show you what kind of towers he can build, your tower shows up. So now we're going to delete these upgrades because we don't really want them. And we are going to change his name to Human Builder. Train Human Builder. Basic Human Builder. Yes, seems good. So that's actually pretty much it, guys. If you want to, you can change the cost to zero. I know a lot of tower defense maps has uh, one lumber as the primary resource for builders. So let's see here, lumber, there it is. It's going to cost one. Food, food cost. We change that to zero. And there you go. If we place our builder, go to the tool palette, Unit palette, human race, and custom. Your unit is going to pop up here. Place it. And now you could actually start the game. But I want to make sure that uh, we actually have the resources. So I'm going to make a quick, a quick trigger here. So head to trigger section. Make it, it doesn't really matter what name you use here. Click OK on the map initialization and go to actions. Here you're going to click P for player and set property to 100. There you go, guys. So let's test if this is actually working. See, guys, here your tower is. So that is actually how you make custom towers please leave a like on this video make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to stay updated with all my latest content guys thank you nico here signing off until next time peace